here's two really simple hacks to think about from your body's perspective. And the third tip is so practical, you're just going to hit your forehead. So tip number one, in 1993 in Canada, and this research has been replicated in the US, Germany, and the Netherlands over a decade since, the deeper you breathe, the deeper you listen. And the science is really simple because it's such a cognitive load for your mind, getting more oxygen to the brain helps you to listen better. There's less distraction. And I know you guys teach this and have had other brilliant guests on that talk to this much better. But it's a simple fact of holding your breath a little bit longer. So for me, it's not you taking and sitting down and moving into a yoga position before you start to listen to people. For me, it's as simple as from the time I step into a building lobby to the time I get to the lift, I become completely conscious of my breathing. And as a result, that starts to block out other distracting thoughts in my head. So tip number one, the deeper you breathe, the deeper you listen. You only have to hold it for five seconds longer to help the brain create the rinse cycle that is the washing machine before listening. The second tip is a hydrated brain is a more effective brain. So for a lot of us, we might start the morning with coffee and that's great. Personally, I don't. But if you can drink two liters of water a day, your brain's going to be able to process more effectively because the fluids that transmit sugars to the brain get there quicker. So tip number one, breathe deeper. Tip number two, drink water. The final tip seems really obvious. It's so obvious that people don't do it. Announce to your guest that you are switching off your phone and put it in your bag or in your waistcoat pocket or wherever it needs to be. But by announcing that intention, straight away they go, I cannot believe that someone's gonna do that for me. What an act of sheer generosity to give me your complete attention. Now, I challenge everybody who's listening right now, I challenge you to do that once a day for the next week and notice how different that conversation becomes. Because if you're really listening, what will be the opportunity for you to change your thinking because you're listening completely to the other person? So tip number one, breathe deeply. Tip number two, drink water. And tip number three, announce and switch off, not vibrate mode, switch off your cell phone. And you will transform the kinds of conversations you have no matter who you're having them with. 